I lost all my data. I love my life! I love my life! Wow, this thing is so pretty. This is like, oh, I'm scared, but also excited. Oh, okay. I can mine Bitcoin, Minecraft! Did that? No way! Oh my god, I am never paying for Google Drive ever again! Well, well, well. Tech channel, a new week, a new video. I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while. I've been doing this streaming thing for a while. And something that I have never, until I've started working on server stuff recently, thought about is my own storage situation and making my own personal workflow easier. I always thought like, my files aren't that important. I won't be that upset if I lose any data until I lost all my data on my old computer. And then that got me thinking. I have a moment to breathe at the minute because I'm not suffocating in the play hosting constant problems as you can see documented on this channel. So I got an email from a company called Ugreen who specialize in a lot of different electronics. But what specifically caught my eye was, drum roll please, ladies and gentlemen, this. This right here, this is the Ugreen 4 Bay NAS! And get this! They sent this to me for totally free! And then they're sponsoring this video! I love my life! I love my life! I love my life! <laughs> okay, I have not opened this yet. This is very much gonna be a first look from me. Also, I have never set up an SMB share or used many NAS OS's. I'm right now in my head, I'm weighing up between using TrueNAS scale or HexOS. I'm gonna finally have a centralized place to store my files. And finally, I can stop paying Google hundreds of pounds a month to store my data. This bad boy's gonna save me so much money. Shall we crack this bad boy open? Okay, what do we have here? Mysterious black box. And then the device itself. Let me just, whoa, whoa, that's heavy. Okay, it has a very sleek build quality, I must admit. Even through the plastic, I'm like, wow, it does not feel cheap, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Magnetic dust mesh filter. Ooh. Whoa. I should say the people over at Ugreen were also nice enough to send me hard drives to set this up because all of my hard drives, I mean, take a guess at where they are. Take a guess. There might be some gold text that pops up on the screen and some heavenly music. This is the Ugreen DXP 4800 Plus. You can see you've got the four drive bays on the front here. If I flip it around to the back, let's have a look at some of this connectivity. So we have, oh wow. Okay, so we have two USB 2.0 ports, HDMI port. We appear to have one USB 3.2 port and then we have a 2.5 gigabit connection and a 10 gigabit connection, both RJ45. And it looks like it takes 19 volt DC, which I'm gonna guess is gonna be around three to five amps, given how many hard drives there are. What they have sent me over for the hard drives, let's take a look at these puppies. What have we got here? La 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 la. I feel so spoiled. I feel so spoiled running this channel. You know what I'm saying? This is like, oh, okay. These are four terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf drives. I will probably set these bad boys up in a mirrored array, AKA also known as a RAID 1, but you're gonna have to bear with me because this whole storage stuff is a little bit alien to me. Oh, also, I didn't even see the front IO. On the front IO, we have an SD card reader. That's really helpful. I don't have an SD card reader on my computer and I'll just be able to offload my camera footage directly to the NAS. Oh, wow. Oh my God, you green, you spoil me. If you guys are looking to get your own NAS like this, obviously there'll be a link in the description, but I'm gonna show you me who has no experience setting up a NAS like this and you can see the exact process that you yourself will go through. Okay, so the power connector is a 19 volt, 7.9 amp connector. What is this? I've got a weird... Oh, what the hell? Anyone in the comments knows what this is? It came with two slightly squishy foam black things with like some plastic on the sides. Does anyone know what this is? Alrighty, let me just bring you in a little bit, a little smidge closer. There we go. <gasps> smidge! Well, that's fun. Okay, screw the drives in. Oh, wh which way? Like that? <laughs> There's definitely a better way to measure how the drives go in. So the drive looks like it needs to go on those four points. That oh, yeah. Well, that's just in now, isn't it? Oh my God, how did I even get this in the first time? Wait, why does it say press here? <gasps> Oh my God. You press on the back, the caddy expands, then you push it in and it locks the drive in place. 
Oh! Slot that back in like so. Wow, this thing is so pretty. Let's get it fired up, shall we? All right, let's take one of these and then I'm gonna plug this into my office network. Look at that, it's really well made. After I get this set up, we will then go over to the computer and configure the computer stuff. So it's plugged into network, it's plugged into power. I may need a keyboard, actually. So it's about all ready to start up. It's hooked up to my monitor right in front of me here. Let's see if we have signs of life. Oh, I can hear the drive spinning up. I'm so used to servers and switches, I thought this was gonna be so much louder. Oh, wow. It already has an OS. Oh, complete Ugreen NAS via HDMI better. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I looking at here, you green? Can I not connect via... Um, this whole storage stuff is a little bit alien to me. I'm gonna just wipe it and put, uh, true ass on it. I'm scared, but also excited. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna finish this installation and then we're gonna hop over to the PC and see if I can set up an SMB share. See you in a sec. Okay, we're over on the computer now and it's actually the next day because I have done some digging and some research about exactly what I wanna run on this NAS. Okay, I know earlier I said I was gonna be running true NAS. For those of you that don't know, my life is already massively bogged down with miscellaneous tech issues which always seem to spring up from Play.Hosting. And I was like, what I need is something that anyone could understand, so if it breaks, any one of my friends can just be like, oh, I can fix this. Now, this might be controversial. I settled on installing an operating system called HexOS. HexOS is actually based off of TrueNAS Scale, which is the OS I was going to use. However, what's nice about this one is that you don't have to interact with TrueNAS. Listen, I looked at the web interface for TrueNAS Scale for like five minutes, and I was like, what is any of this? And then, uh, like a gift from God, out of the sky, I saw a software that cost $200, not too happy about that, called HexOS. And apparently, the whole thing is, oh, anyone can do it. So, health and capacities. Take a moment to check that all your hardware is detected and working. The, well, this seems fine. You can see here, this is all of the hardware for the Ugreen NAS. Next, let's have a look at the storage. I'm gonna call it all lowercase, and I'll do timbers-storage. Finish that up. Okay, that was that was all right. <laughs> and it seems to be all done. Enabling Docker. Oh, so this runs Docker containers? Oh my God. I could run a Minecraft server on my Pentium NAS. Apps, no app. I don't really want an app. I don't really want any of this. I don't want Plex. I just want an SMB file share, please. Bitcoin? Is that the Grim Reaper? I could mine Bitcoin? Minecraft? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, this thing is kind of stacked. I only really want a f storage. Okay, add folder. Okay, this is now the section of the video where I am confused. Browse? Oh! Oh! Wait! Okay. Wait, right click, add map network drive. Oh, I get to pick a letter. You will be drive T. And then press finish. Did that? What's going on? No way! Understand what's going on here. That's so cool. That's so cool. Sorry, I've never actually got an SMB share to work before. And now, can I just tub pewters? Oh my god, I am never paying for Google Drive ever again. And it's just set up just like that. And I can add, let's say I wanted to make a user for John A. I can give John A a user. Oh my gosh, wait, and also, this file share is configured on the local network, which means I can use my WireGuard tunnel on my router to access this from my house. That's so lit. Wait, I need to call Johnny. Come on, J-Bag, pick up the phone. Hello. Hello! I've basically set up, so later tonight on your computer, I'm gonna set up a network storage location, and then you're gonna be able to put all of your files on storage in the office. And we won't have to pay for Google Whoa. Drive anymore. Oh! I just got it yeah. set up, and it works. It's so cool. Okay, that's tough. Perfect. See you later. Bye. Welcome to Pewters Nation. This has been my first adventure into using TrueNAS and HexOS and SMB shares and also Ugreen. Massive shout out to Ugreen. Thank you so much, Ugreen, for sending me over this incredible device and these two four terabyte hard drives so I can stop paying for Google Drive finally because every month it's like they chop off one of my toes or one of my arms. All right, Tubputers, that's all from me this week and I'll see ya next week. Bye!